of the Wicker Park Bucktown Chamber of Commerce and proudly supports the public artwork. So it sort of indicates that this particular piece is a mural, definitely not graffiti. It's a mural. It's a piece of public art that's been uh, um, sanctioned. It's been given permission. And that basically changes a couple of the rules about how it can be made and how it will be made. One thing is, is that the artist definitely has a lot more time to accomplish it. are a little bit different than graffiti because generally speaking murals have the permission of the person whose wall it belongs to. Uh, this piece here is a mural that was done uh, several years back. Long time. You can see it's starting to peel off. In many cases, depending on the skill of the individual painter or their knowledge of how material works, it dictates how long a mural will stick around. This one, perhaps the wall wasn't prepared quite right so it's starting to peel off. something that's a lot easier to do in a mural setting where you've got more time to sit and work on a painting. And major cities like New York and Berlin, you see trucks like this everywhere. In Chicago, they're a little less common, but when I see them, I, they're always sort of fun to check out. If I had a truck like that, I would probably paint it like that. But I'm not sure if the person who owns that truck has the same opinion. The fact that it's so completely coated in graffiti tells me a couple of things. A, it's abandoned. B, the person might like it. styles of painting within that half block. Let's take even a closer look. Now we're down in Pilsen. This is a neighborhood around uh, uh, 18th Street. And uh, it's, a, it's a neighborhood that was originally a Polish neighborhood, and over the, about the last 30 years, 
has become a neighborhood where a lot of Latino immigrants uh, tend to settle. One of the most interesting things about the uh, murals in this neighborhood is you can see, first of all, the scale of them is just enormous. Um, there's several here that are uh, entire sides of buildings. And one of the other key things is that they tend to be more about social concerns and, 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 and issues of uh, trying to sort of uh, imply certain things about uh, uh, what it means to uh, grow up and be a positive member of society. There's a number that sort of refer to uh, graduation, and being involved in church, being involved in community. Um, this is significantly different than what we were seeing up in Wicker Park, which tended to be a little bit more sort of like a um, hipster garble, sort of like, uh, here's an interesting picture that I enjoy uh, showing you, and uh, you'll enjoy it or not enjoy it, and it doesn't have any social ramifications per se. Here's another one that I used to pass by almost every day on the way to work. Um, it has a very, very, very uh, um, beautiful sentiment to it, this, this idea of family working together, making supper. Um, again, it's a beautiful image, it's attractively uh, built, it's enormous, the size of the, uh, the whole side of this building, but at the same time, it's, it's got a sort of a very specific message of sort of a social, uh, uh, sort of a best case scenario sort of thing. That's what I really kind of like about the murals in this neighborhood is that they're not just art for art's sake, but sort of art with a function, and that function of trying to uh, show sort of like the, uh, the, perfect, the perfect world. This program comes from WBEZ members, other member stations, and Unisys Corporation that is providing IT solutions to contribute to a safer and more secure. Now it's a combination of the scale of these paintings and their storytelling that really makes me like them a lot. I mean, the scale, first of all, is just really incredible. Compared to most of the murals that we were looking at in Wicker Park, these uh, murals are just, just enormous. I mean, there's a lot more time and energy that went into the creation of them, and they've, uh, um, they've, they basically just seem to have a lot more detail and a lot more sort of uh, um, specific information. Now, that, that also le leads to their storytelling uh, uh, function, which is the fact that uh, compared to many of the ones that we were looking at in Wicker Park, they tend to be more uh, obtuse or more... Uh, um, abstract these are tend to be very very literal and they tend to be very narrative you know sort of telling uh, in this case uh, which is a historical sort of uh, 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 combination sort of looking at the the, the history of uh, Mexico um, we've got a couple of heroes and a couple of uh, uh, main characters This particular wall is a little bit different from a couple of the walls we've seen so far. And that this wall is one that gets uh, repainted fairly frequently. Uh, it uh, belongs to a couple of different groups that sort of take turns putting up uh, major murals. It's probably about a, I don't know, a hundred yard long wall and uh, it's uh, constantly shifting, constantly changing subject matter as well as in uh, styles of paint. Uh, this one up here right now is, is, is an after school project and uh, uh, is uh, specifically about uh, uh, gang violence and so on. So, so each time it's a little bit different and each time uh, uh, you can sort of see that a very different group of artists has worked on it. 